all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. Do this and remember our soul. Abun recites what the Lord said to his disciples, Do this in remembrance of me. The remembrance does not mean commemoration. It means, we undergo the same holy event, and this is the true body, and the true blood, of our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave it to his disciples, during the Last Supper. It is the same body of our Christ on the cross, and it is the same body of his resurrection. It is the same body of his ascension into the heaven, and the same body of our Lord Christ, who is sitting on the right hand of his Father in heaven. Holy Passion, in resurrection from the dead, he ascensions into the heavens, and is sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming, which shall be from the heavens, awesome and full of glory, we offer unto you your oblations from what is yours for every condition concerning every condition and in every condition. Worship God in fear. The deacon proclaims with a loud voice, Worship God in fear and trembling. This is to prepare us for the most holy moment. That is the invocation of the Holy Spirit, to change the bread, into the true body of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the wine, into the true blood of His. Let us attend. And His bread He makes into His holy body. Also into the precious blood of his new covenant. Again I believe of Abu Nib proclaims that this is given for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who shall partake of him. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Now the bread did become the holy body of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the wine is his honor, blood. From this moment, the priest will not make the sign of the cross, upon them by his hand. The signing of both of them, shall be through them. Also, the priest will not leave the altar, until the end of the holy liturgy. The priest will pray the seven short litanies or prayers. They are, the prayer of the peace of the church, to keep the church in peace. An apostolic Orthodox Church. Lord have mercy. This which you have acquired unto yourself with the precious blood of your Christ. Keep the prayer of the fathers of the church, to keep the Pope and the bishops. For must remember, O Lord, our blessed and honored Father, the Irish Bishop, our Patriarch Abba Shenouda the Third. Lord have mercy. And those who rightly define the word of truth with him grant. The prayer of the priests and deacons to pastor the flock in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Orthodox Hegemon's priest and deacon. Lord, have mercy. And all the ministers, all who are in virgin.
The prayer of the servants, the Lord may have mercy on us all. Remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us all. Have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pantocrator. Remember, our Lord, the safety of his holy plate, which is yours. The prayer of the place for the salvation of the whole world. Orthodox Fathers, Lord have mercy. And those who dwell there in God's faith, gracious the upward, O Lord, the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the water of the rivers, the prayer of the plants and water, to bless all our life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Grant them to their measure, according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows and abundantly watered, and its fruits be plentiful, prepared for sowing and harvest. Manage our life as deemed fit. Blend the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of our soul, who oh, entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness, O oh, you who give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good deed. Lord have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those have brought unto you this gift. And finally, the prayer of the oblations. That is the offerings of the liturgy in the church. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifice, and those who have borne. The command of your only begotten Son, that we Abuna will pray the commemoration of the saints. We mention them as they conquered the whole world, awaiting and helping us to join them in the heaven, and they are attending the holy liturgy with us. We ask their prayers and intercessions. Our holy Father, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, and the confessors, and all the spirit of the rights who consummated in the faith most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, holy Theodorus, Saint Mary, who in truth give birth to God, the Lord of God, Saint John the Baptist and Martyr, Saint Stephen the Archdeacon, the Proto Martyr, the Beholder of Gans and Mark the Evangelist, the Apostle and Martyr, the Patriarchs and Severus, our Teacher Discourse, the Athanasius the Apostolic, then Peter the Proist, Martyr and the High Priest, Saint John Chrysostom, then Theodosius, then Theophilus. Then Demetrius, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, then Gregory the Theologian, 
Thank Gregory, the wonder worker, thank Gregory, the honor being in the union. The 318 assembly done in Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous father, the great Abantini, the righteous Abba Paul, and the three Sinaba Macari, and all their children, the cross bearers. Our father of John the Hegelman, our father of Apishui, the righteous perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior. Our father of Paul of Shamu, and Idagil, his disciple, my master, the Romans' fathers, St. Maximus and Megis, and the forty-nine murder, the elders of Shehate, the strong sin of Amosis, John Cam, the priest, our father of Daniel Begumen, our father of Aethidur, the priest, our father of Abacum, of the Canadian Theodore, his disciple, our father of Shinoda, the Archimand Bride, and of Avisa, his disciple, and all the choir of your saints, through whose prayer and supplications, have mercy on us all, and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is the call of all upon us. Let those who read recite the names of our holy fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep. Abuna raises the incense in the center. All congregation ask for the holy blessings of all the saints, so that the Lord may have mercy upon us all. the departed ones, who went into the heaven, and waiting for us to join them.
Abuna asks the Lord to guide us into his kingdom, so we may follow all the saints to the eternal life. Glorified, blessed and exalted everything, honored and blessed together with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit, peace be with you all. Abuna bows and moves little to the side as giving the pieces from our Lord Jesus Christ, whose body and blood are on the altar. Let us give a thanks unto God the Pentecostal, the Father. Abuna gives thanks to the Lord on our behalf, as he allowed us to stand up in his holy church. He asks the Lord to make us worthy of the communion. up in this holy place to lift up our hands, and to serve his holy name, let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mysteries. Amen. Abuna places the holy body on the palm of his left hand. He touches the holy body, with his right index finger near the despotaton, and says with fear, We worship your holy body. Abuna dips his right index finger, in the precious blood, and makes the sign of the cross, inside the chalice. Abuna makes the sign of the cross, on the holy body, with the precious blood. This is in reference to the honored blood that flew from the body of our Lord Jesus Christ during his crucifixion. Abuna begins to break the holy body, while he is saying the fraction prayer. During the fraction prayer, Abuna meditates on the salvation and love of our Lord Jesus Christ. With a whole their heart, who has given to us redemption from sin through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, the life of everyone, the help of those who flee to him, the hope of the Lord. The deacons hold lit candles, as the priest breaks the body of Christ to be given to the faithful people. Breaking the body of our Savior refers to the sufferings of our Lord. Congregation ask the Lord and say, Kyrie Lyson, Lord have mercy, after each prayer. This is to offer our repentance, and ask Him for the forgiveness of our sins, before partaking of the communion. and all the innumerable hosts of the heavenly powers, O God, who has sanctified these gifts, which are set forth through the coming down upon them of your Holy Spirit. You have purified them. Purify us, O our Master, from our sins, the hidden and manifest, and every thought which is not leading to your goodness. God, you have an anthropic one, May it be far from us.
Abuna asks the Lord to purify us and prepare us to be worthy of the partaking of the holy and true body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord have mercy. Purify our souls, our bodies, our spirits, our hearts, our eyes, our understanding, our thoughts, and our consciences, so that with a pure heart, an enlightened soul, and an ashamed face, a faith unfeigned, a perfect love, and a firm hope, we may dare with boldness without fear to pray to you, o God, the Holy Father who art in heaven, and say, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen.